This is a demo for the NMT remote application for the iPhone and iPod Touch. NMT stands for Network Media Tank and it's for Sybase's media players. The NMT remote works with the Popcorn Hour A100, the 110 and the E-Grade M34 players. In order for this application to operate, BizBox 26 is required and should be installed on your NMT device. There are a lot of guides on the web on how to install BizBox, so just google for BizBox 26 and Telnet D. So I will just start the application. The first time the application starts, it will go straight into the settings tab since there will be no connection. I'll just put my IP address. Here I can set the source, network, hard disk, the local hard disk, USB A or B. And if I want some specific path, path and not the root path. There are also two parameters for the BusyBox 26 location where you define them here. So now I can connect and I am connected to the NMT device that is my popcorn and I can go straight into the media files. The settings is done only the first time the application starts so if I relaunch the application it will go straight into my media files. Here I can browse my files. Just like that. Go back, back, series, mark break. And if I want to play something, just press play. Now that it's playing the trailer, I can go back of course and continue browsing my files. If I want to play some music, select the song I want and I'll switch over to the music song. I don't have to select what type of file I want to play that is movie file or audio file. Now that it's playing, of course I can go and browse the rest of my music. I can create playlists. Just press this button here and go to my playlist. I've just added two songs to my playlist, so I can go playlists, my current playlist, I can edit my playlist if I want, or I can play the playlist. And of course, I can go to the next one. So that is basically so that is basically the NMT remote, how it works. Hope you enjoyed the video and have fun with the application.